Nick Foles got traded to the Chicago Bears from the Jacksonville Jaguars for a fourth round pick. Do you feel like Nick Foles, with the contract that he has, with the trade that they made, is going to start over Mitch Trubisky in Chicago? No. Uh, I mean, I, I think at some point he might if something happens to Mitch, if he gets hurt. But I think Mitch Trubisky is clearly better. I, I think he – look, uh, again, a lot of people – a lot of you guys do not like Mitchell It's Trubisky. a hot take. Yeah, you don't – I mean, here's the thing. Like, yes, the Bears – have a solid team on defense. On paper, they look amazing. But on offense, I'm sorry, you're not giving Mitchell Trubisky much to work with, in my opinion. Like, I, I, I think Allen Robinson's not enough. I mean, other than him, I don't think I don't really see who you guys had. I, I honestly feel like Mitch Trubisky is kind of like the same guy as like Josh Allen, where I feel like he can ball because I feel like even in the playoffs, I feel like he performed, you know, well. And I, I don't think he's the reason. I mean, obviously that missed kick. Um, you know, he, he's not the reason why they lost to Philly. Um, so I, I think I don't, Nick Foles to me again, he's always been a backup. Yes. He balled out against Tom Brady when it mattered the most. Um, but I, I, I just feel like, uh, you know, Nick, Nick, Nick Foles has always been a backup. He's never played like a full season healthy, you know, and every time he, he tries to play a full season, he gets hurt. Yeah. So I think the bears just did it because they saw Nick Foles take over at one point and win a Super Bowl. Uh, but I, I just feel like Nick Foles is a backup at this point. I, I don't think he's going to start over Mitch Trubisky. This is where you and I disagree, because I feel like he is. Because at this point, you don't start or you don't trade for someone with that big of a contract unless you have some sort of plans for them. And I don't believe the fact that the the Bears are just going to trade for him just to push Mitchell Trubisky, just to give him that healthy comp- competition and hope that Trubisky will be the better quarterback. I think at this point, Foles is more than likely the quarterback that can, hey, we'll start you, we'll restructure your contract just a bit, even though you're going to get $15 million guaranteed for sure uh, this upcoming year in 2020. He's going to start for sure. He's more than likely, if it works out for the Bears, Foles is willing to accept less money when he needs a newer contract. Mitch Trubisky, he's at the point right now where he's entering his fourth year in his contract. The Bears don't know if they're going to pick up their fifth-year option, and he's a rookie that's looking to make a lot of money. So if it works out with Mitch Trubisky, he's going to be that next guy, like Dak Prescott, who's asking for like $30 million, $35 million a year. Uh, so I just don't see that happening realistically. I feel like Foles is going to start, whether it's going to be day one, I don't know. Um, day one. But you eventually think that he's going to start. I do. I, I I do. I feel like Foles is going to be the next quarterback, starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears, right after Mitch Trubisky is uh is benched. So that that's my hot take on it. It just depends, man. I I, I just I feel like he needs he needs more help. I mean, he's a, Mitch Mitch Trubisky is like a game manager at this point right now. From what I'm looking at the stats, like. 17 and 10 last year, 17 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Um, so he doesn't really turn the ball over like that, which is good. He hasn't thrown more than 12 picks in his career. Um, it's just he just he doesn't make those explosive big plays that you're seeing, you know, other quarterbacks make. And I think that's kind of like the big knock on him is that they can't move the ball past like 10 yards because you know he's very he's very hesitant. There were points where I feel like last season that Matt, Matt, Matt Nagy, if he wanted to give up on Mitch Trubisky, he would have given up on him and. Uh, you know, that, I think they had that one controversial issue where they benched him. They benched Mitch Trubisky, and then they brought him back like a following week yeah, or something like Chase that. Chase Daniel. Maybe at some point, Nick Foles is the insurance policy for, you know, Mitch Trubisky. Mm-hmm.